Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon or good night, depending on what time it is with you. Thank you for joining me in the webinar. Very glad you are with me. And if you are looking at this webinar a little later, and then also a very warm welcome for you. If you are new here, then uh, I really would like you to feel comfortable. We're going to talk first about a, th a certain theme. This time it's quite a heavy theme. After that, we're going to do the mirror method so that everything that has been touched by this presentation will be healed instantly. Not totally maybe, but it will be addressed in your subconscious so that you can let go of it. Because I usually start talking about a specific theme and then when we do the mirror method, your subconscious is able to let it go more quickly because it has been addressed, it has been opened up and then when you do the mirror method, you can take certain things out of the subconscious and that works really well. So I'm glad you're here, thank you. Thank you for coming back to the people who have been here before in the webinars. Thank you for joining me again. And, um, and also, if you are a mere method coach, then a very warm welcome. And thank you for working with all the people to help them find out what is the root cause of the problems. And um, yeah, it's wonderful when I see mere method coaches work with people. Let me have a look at the presentation. Just check if I can. Oh, yeah. So the theme of today is when your world collapses, it's like life pain. When there is something that has happened that is smashing you in the face and it's terrible. For example, uh, when you lose a loved one, but then suddenly uh, when you lose your house, the bank says, yeah, well, you can't uh, give the rent or the mortgage. We've had enough. You will just lose your house which is insanely inhumane. It's incredible that this happens and it happens so often. It's totally ridiculous. When you lose a child in the Netherlands, the um, government has taken away 1,672 children from families that could not afford their children anymore. But the government has had made lots of mistakes with this. And even then, the children have not been brought back yet. This is like, it's a crazy situation really. But this gives so much stress to the parents, it's terrible. Also when a, a child uh, loses its life, so when your child is deceased, of course that's incredibly heavy and, and terrible too to have to be, a, you have to come across that in your life. When you lose your job, it's not only the job that you've been working for for so long, it's also the, the building you went to every day, the, the colleagues that you were working with every day, you lose all of that. So losing your job is, is, is a big, big deal. It's a really big life event. Divorce also very, Painful when your partner says, I don't want to be with you anymore. Then you start to realize with all these kinds of things is that you've been lied to for years. That's something that's so hard as well. Or that what you have believed in appeared to be untrue. And that's also what, what's coming to the surface so much more worldwide now. So many things that we have believed in is appear, appear to be untrue. And that's shocking too. Now what you can do with the mirror method is you go through the three senses, uh, three of your senses in your body. You go through the hearing. So what did you hear? What did you see literally with your eyes? And what did you feel? What kind of emotions did you feel? I'm going to talk you through this. Now, what did you hear? <laughs> did is with a T, that's funny. So, what, um, what exactly were the words that were told you with this terrible news? For example, uh, a doctor says, I'm sorry, we cannot do anything for your child or partner. So, 
the doctor says certain words and this little sentence changes everything in your life. Now these words in itself can make you sick and these words need to be neutralized, need to be peaceful. Because many people have these little sentences in their head that, that come up every now and then, but they in fact are the cause of illness. So the total horror that you can have in your body when you have this terrible news, I'm sorry we cannot do anything anymore for your child, that's like a smash in your face. Those words need to be neutralized, they need to get out of your system. So then what you can do is you, you give peace to those words by stroking them. So you say, for example, I'm sorry, we cannot do anything for your child anymore. I'm sorry, we cannot do anything for your child anymore. I'm sorry, we cannot do anything for your child anymore. So you stroke your hand, you calm your subconscious while saying this sentence over and over and over again, at least 30, 40 times. Just keep on going. And at a certain point you will start to yawn or these words will lose their meaning. And that's when you have neutralized them. So you just sit down one time and, and do this with sentences that you remember. Then another one is what are the images that you saw? So did you, for example, for example, witness a traffic accident and did you see horror images that are burnt on your retina? Because if that's the case, you need to take them off your eyes and neutralize them. What you can do then is look or think back on this image and then stroke your hand. For example, um, the image of the car crash. Um, okay, yeah, just say the image of the car crash, the image of the car crash. And you think about the car crash, just keep on stroking and at, at a certain point the images will blur and we will be neutralized. For example, also with the expression you saw on your child's face when certain kind of news came. And that can be an image that's burnt on your retina. Now give peace to those images by thinking back to those images and stroking your hand. Because that's how you will dissolve them. If, the, if these uh, exercises go too fast, then you can always go back in this video Go back a little bit and then you can rewind it. When your world collapses, your, your brain stem will be active. So what did it feel like? Did it feel like you fell into an endless deep pit? You kept falling and falling and falling and falling and it was totally panicking fear. Or did you go in a total freeze? So what happened to you? Did you go into a shock? Did you felt like you were dissolved, like just scattered? The, this is where the brain stem comes in. I'm going to show you a, a picture that's a bit bigger. Here you see the, the brain. You see it from the side. So one part of the image is the front side and the other one is the back side. I'm going to point it out with my arrow. Here is the front side of the brain and this is the back side of your brain. And here the red area is the brain stem. <clears throat> and this one becomes active when you are in danger. So when something really terrible happens, this is when the brain stem becomes really active and it only has three functions. Well, it has more, but I'm just simplifying it. It has three function. Uh, the first one is to fight. So something really bad happens and you want to fight. Second reaction can be you want to uh, flee, you want to run out of the house, you want to run away. And the third one is you want to freeze, like playing dead. It's like a survival mechanism. I'm not here, I'm dead, it's all over. That's when people start to sit down, don't move anymore, don't think, and they're just staring. That's the freeze. So what can you do when you have bad, bad news and you or you witness something terrible and the brainstem becomes active? <coughs> you need to do something about it because if you don't, 
you might develop something that can turn into an illness. So that's why I'm talking about this. So what can you do in the first 24 hours when you have had this news? Please do the Mere Method First Aid. It's included in the Additional Techniques course. Um, I'm going to show it to you very quickly now, but I would like you to study this technique amongst other techniques because it's a very very useful technique you can use it for the rest of your life what you do is you stroke yourself really quickly just imagine that your body is in panic mode and your subconscious is in panic mode then you cannot do it you, you cannot address it by stroking really slowly you need to address it by stroking really quickly that's the only way many many signals go to your subconscious saying hey hello here i am so you, you stroke really quickly while saying or thinking all the time mere method, mere method, mere method, mere method. So every time you say mere method, all nine steps of the mere, mere method are fired away. So they are uh, activated. So I do mere method and then all nine steps are activated to my subconscious. You can imagine that this will work best when you have done the mere method for at least four weeks. So the first aid will work best when you have done the mirror method for at least four weeks. Okay, so you go, you stroke yourself really quickly. At the same time you say mirror method, mirror method, mirror method, mirror method, mirror method, mirror method. You can do this, for example, when you feel a total panic. So you've had this terrible news and you're just panicking, you don't, you don't know what to do. Then go like this, stroke really quickly and say, uh, say mere method, mere method, mere method. Or you can think it in your head. And you do this at least for two, three minutes until you feel that the panic is leaving your body. You might still feel fear. That's okay, because fear is, you can handle that. Panic you cannot handle. So you need to be, to, to, bring down this panic into a level that you can function again okay same goes with rage if your uh, partner says uh, i don't want to live with you anymore i want a divorce and you just have done a redecoration of the whole house for like three years it's finally done and now your partner says okay fine i'm gonna divorce you now then there's terrible rage may come in up in you that's a moment when you can do the mere method first aid mere method mere method mere method do it inward do it quietly because of course it will look really awkward or strange for your partner but it may prevent you from lashing out or from becoming violent because the rage can be so overwhelming so that's a way to calm yourself down really quickly and another one is despair when you have news and it's like totally devastating you don't know what where to be you're in total despair that's when you can do also do the first aid and uh, in that way you come back you the despair will be a little bit less 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 until you are in a sadness mode that is doable that you can handle what I also would like to stress is um, I have, I'm studying the work of Dr. Hammer from Germany and his work is called, um, I don't know in English, German, well it's the study, in, when you say it in, uh, in German it's called the Germanische Heilkunde and in English, yeah, German new medicine. I think if you if you look it up as a German new medicine, you may find it. This doctor has done so much scientific research with all these uh, brain scans. What he found out is that if people come across something really terrible and they have not uh, been able to speak about it in 24 hours time, so they have come across this or have experienced this totally isolated, that's when something in their brain changes and in the end they will develop a disease. 
So it's very, very important that you talk within the first 24 hours of after something has happened or something, somebody told you something. What you need to do is talk. So phone somebody and say, listen, I'm really upset. I just want you to listen to me. Just let, just hear me out, please. And then you just tell what has happened and how upset you are and everything. There are also phone lines everywhere. Uh, look up the number of a victim phone line and make a note of it somewhere or in your mobile phone. And uh, please phone these phone lines. When you, when you have come across something terrible, they are there for you. They want to listen to you and it really helps you to prevent you from falling ill later on. There's something else what I really would like you to do is keep yourself soft and warm and protected. So I was showing my blanket. I have, I'm doing three webinars tonight. In between I put on this blanket because it's a little bit chilly here. And then I put this around me and I have a warm cup of tea. And then I keep myself warm and protected and soft. So that's a very nice way of um, keeping yourself in a state of mind that's comfortable and cozy and it's, it feels secure, it feels uh, comforting, it feels like you've been, you're being taken care of like by a really soft mother. So keep yourself soft and warm and protected whenever something bad happens to you. Very, very important. So if somebody else, uh, when you see somebody who is, who is experiencing some, some deep, deep life pain, please put this blanket around them, make them really comfortable, give them a cup of tea uh, and listen to them or just sit with them. But keep them warm and soft and protected. That's really helpful. Now what I was, would like to end with is that nothing is what it seems. Nothing is what it looks like in this world. Nothing is certain. And how flexible are you? Can you deal with these kind of things that are totally changing your life? Do you have both feet on the ground? Do you feel internally secure? Um, if not, please use the mirror method to make you feel internally secure. So you have self-confidence that whatever happens, you know it will hit you. It will hit you hard, but you can deal with it. You will s stay standing up and you will c come through this. And you know how to ask for support and to take a time off from work or something if something bad happens. But you know you can deal with it. <clears throat> the, the, I'm skipping the positive twist, but the, the bottom line is the more stable you stand, the better you can deal with life's surprises. So when you work now on your stability, on your self-confidence and your grounding, you can use the mirror method for that, the better you can do with all these surprises that life throws at you. Now, a positive twist is something else. Let me go there. Every cloud has a silver lining. It's a proverb in England, in English. And uh, I really like the proverb. But in the end, when, when the dust has settled, like it can take six months, seven months, eight months. So when things starting to get a little bit better, there usually is something good that comes out of this. No matter how hard a situation was, there is something good that comes from it. And when you can find that one, that's when really proper healing will start. Now our biggest mistake is, is that we think that the world will remain the same forever. Because it's not. The, the world is going to change and it's going to change rapidly into a very, very, very positive world. There's such a wonderful, good new world coming. I'm looking forward to that. It's, what I see is that we're, we're going to have smaller uh, groups of people that will 
take care of themselves. They will find their own way of leadership. They will work together with um, in honesty and equality and they will um, the visions I have are, are just so positive. It's, sometimes it's hard to find the words for it, but it's it's coming in. Um, yeah, I'm so longing for it. And it's so close. We are going to experience it in our lifetime. So it's incredibly good. Okay, well, having been thought about these very very terrible things that may happen to you i have addressed some things in your subconscious now we're going to do the mirror method so that we can give peace to those happenings that have come across you in your life so please if you want to do it with me please join me stroke your hand slowly and very very caring caringly <laughs> And we're going to start with step one. Here we go. Optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detach father. Detach father. Detach father, detach mother, detach mother, detach mother, clear meridians, clear meridians, clear meridians, supplement all shortages, supplement all shortages. Supplement all shortages. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. All right, you may still be yawning a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> I was yawning too. <laughs> In fact, it's a very good signal that you're yawning because that means that you're letting go of things. Um, I wanted to say something more. Oh yeah, on the English website, you will find the additional techniques course and also another course of deep understanding of the mirror method and if you want you can leave a comment on the website mirrormethod.com slash webinar dash life pain because then i would like to know what have you experienced what was your terrible thing that you heard or saw and um, can you tell me how this webinar helped you and maybe come across as that I could understand what you've been going through. Just let me know what you would, what it was like for you, this webinar. All right. That's it for now. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. I hope you, I hope it inspired you. I hope it made you feel a bit more calm about everything that has happened to you. And I'm going to be back within two weeks time. And meanwhile, I wish you wonderful weeks and wonderful energy and very good night's sleep every night. Okay, wishing you the best and see you again within two weeks time. Till then, bye bye.